Eastern Pacific activity draws closer on the forecast with the next system possibly developing on Monday. And now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Drop the weather bulletin for June the 12th. Right now, we still have nothing on the radar in terms of storm names, uh, but we still have what's left of Alex still chunnering around off the northern part of the British Isles, headed towards Scandinavia. 28 storms have formed so far around the world at this point in the year. Looking to the Atlantic on day 12 of hurricane season, there is nothing in the tropical or subtropical zones, just the remnants of Alex, which are long past the extent of this map. Although we could be looking at something maybe next week, depending on what happens in the models. We'll take a look at that later. Eastern Pacific, day 29 of hurricane season. We've got a moderate chance for that area of interest, which is likely to become uh, more uh, visible on imagery in the next 24 hours. Definitely be there by Monday because that's when we expect it that it might form. In the Western Pacific, we've got no areas of interest still at this point. A very quiet period in the Western Pacific, but even in La Nina years, it usually gets up and going um, with quite a start. Uh, and it usually gets uh, a few systems on the go uh, by the time we get to the end of June. Indian Ocean, very quiet at this point, and that is pretty much to be expected. Uh, no systems active and none expected. So let's take a close up at the uh, feature, the point of interest today, and we're still looking at the Eastern Pacific. And to be honest, there's not much organization in any of these little um, convective bursts, although there's a little bit more convection in the zone that we're looking at in the off the coast of Mexico, of course, uh, than we saw two days ago, maybe. We're also looking at the gyric uh, areas around Central America and the Southern Caribbean. Uh, there's a lot of convection going on there, and that's something we could be watching out for over the next few days. Models are trying to establish which side of the peninsula uh, or the continent that the um, storm, the potential storm will form on. Now looking at the wider satellite imagery in the Atlantic, fairly quiet. You've got that frontal system moving through Florida and just off the coast of the East Coast. And you've also got some big blow ups occurring over the plains right now with some tornado activity currently ongoing. In the, in the Eastern Pacific right now, we've got dry air dominating further west, but further east we've obviously got that, more of that moisture. Um, you can see one or two tiny little areas down there near the uh, intertropical convergence zone further out west as well. Looking over to the Western Pacific, things once again, of course, looking fairly quiet. But there are a few areas of convection blowing up around the Micronesian Islands, south of Guam, uh, and one little blob in between Palau and the Philippine Islands. But in general, things are looking very quiet in the Western Pacific Basin at this time. But usually every year gets something interesting in the Western Pacific, so always be on your guard. In the Indian Ocean, things looking somewhat quiet certainly in terms of tropical activity but there's a lot of moisture around especially in the Bay of Bengal and even extending out into the eastern Arabian Sea so a lot of rainfall will be falling over the Indian continent right now and down in towards the southern hemisphere you can see some decent convection blowing up on a frontal system there just to the uh, south of the Solomon Islands but in general a pretty um, normal I'm trying to find a better word for a uh, innocuous appearance down there right now. Sea surface temperatures are generally decent, 28 degrees, pushing 30 in one or two small areas in the eastern Pacific, although they drop off a lot when you go further out to sea. The Atlantic still warming up very nicely, pushing 30 degrees now along the coast of Louisiana uh, and in the Gulf of Mexico in general. 28 degrees is probably the average temperature now. Same too for the Western Caribbean and off the east coast of Florida. It's going to be a warm ocean this year in the Atlantic and there's going to be a lot of energy for potential storms. North Indian Ocean, very warm as is expected. Warmer further north, that's the general rule. And in the South China Sea, you've got a few little splodges there of 30 degrees Celsius waters off Hainan Island and out over the Philippine Sea getting very warm off the coast of Taiwan. The same thing. So 
decent sea surface temperatures all across the West and Pacific at this point. I don't think there's anything interesting to point out in other areas there whilst we have time. Here's the anomalies and you can see way above average in the central Pacific in the subtropical zones but look towards the eastern Pacific and you'll see it's generally below average. One or two little warm pockets but in general it is below average there. In the Atlantic it's still as it was warmer particularly in the subtropical zones off the US East Coast which is perhaps a trend that we could be watching out for as time goes on. Oceanic heat content, you've still got that big orange blow up there in the uh, Gulf of Mexico. The loop current looks like it's going to be strong this year, certainly if that keeps up. Western Caribbean also looking decent. Eastern Pacific has lost most of its energy, although it is building a little bit now um, south of um, Oaxaca and uh, um, the other area of Mexico, Chiapas, I think it was, um, and further west in the Pacific. Massive heat pool east of the Philippines. So this is what the models are looking at now over the next five days and you can see two systems now on the GFS. We're not going with that just yet. This is a new development of the 18Z run on the GFS but it's certainly something to watch for developing a strong Atlantic storm on day four and five off the coast of Nicaragua. I'd look more towards the Eastern Pacific for the time being uh, whilst you look at that potential storm form that current 60%. We've also got another tiny little thing that the GFS tries to spin up and I only mention that because one or two other models were on board, you just saw it there in the middle of the screen, a tiny little cyclone that according to the GFS does become a tropical storm. Uh, so, so again, something that we've not marked but it is within the five day period, so that's something else to keep your eye on as well as you watch uh, the storm in off Mexico there nearing hurricane status. And this is what we're expecting from rainfall. The models have been shifting quite a bit offshore Mexico, so that's good news, particularly for this system, um, and particularly after Agatha that we just had. Uh, so you're seeing rain totals over the next seven days along the coast of Mexico. This could still change, but the trend has been downwards. Certainly by this potential hurricane, we're looking there, what's that? Six inches being indicated there, which is nowhere near what it was before. I think it was about 20 inches, it was saying. Um, but six inches, that's around 150 millimeters or I think I think that was right actually yes longer range you can see what the GFS is doing putting a hurricane into Belize whether that happens or not is still extremely early and another very broad system behind it um, so I wouldn't put much credence into this yet this is day two through to say sorry day five through to day 10 uh, Eastern Pacific looking fairly quiet but a little uh, one or two little low-level circulation is blowing up there as well well, that's the serious stuff done with. You can take a look at the Force 13 store, scan the barcode, and you can take a look. We're now offering animations as well as our normal range of merch. And we might have some more merch updates coming up soon. We've got a few things showing up in silly range. This is what it is showing on the GFS long term. A tropical storm there hit in Mexico, followed by another one by the looks of it. Something trying to form in the Atlantic, but by the looks of things there fails. Maybe at the last minute might just get somewhere. But this is all long range, so we just got to throw all this in the trash can. But that's just a little indication. Sometimes these things can be useful just to give you an idea of what might try to develop later on down the line, what patterns we might see. So who knows, we might get some spin-ups close to the coast of Mexico by the time we get towards the later part of the month. And look at this, long range GFS wants another tropical storm down in the Australian region, forming off the coast of Indonesia and then diving down poleward and getting absorbed rather quickly. A straightforward storm, but extremely late in the season down there. Of course, the Southern Hemisphere, the seasons are flipped. So it's an equivalent of getting a tropical storm in the Atlantic in the middle to late part of December. And that, I can tell you, is very rare. On this day in 2014, we were there to cover it. There was a tropical weather bulletin on that day, actually. Christina was a Category 4 and it was peaking. Um, a fascinating storm coming so quickly after Amanda, which was also a high-end Category 4. Nanak was a tropical storm in the Indian Ocean, was about to die off, and Mitag had just died off. 
and was a tropical storm that was uh, speeding up real quickly across the north towards the northeast approaching the Japanese islands so an interesting day it was on June 12th 2014 back to this year and amazing that was eight years ago the next name on the Atlantic naming list and if the GFS has its way might come next week is Bonnie the Eastern Pacific the next name is Blas in the Central Pacific we're still looking out for Hone and elsewhere in the Western Pacific we have got Chaba coming up next on list four and in North Indian Ocean we have Citrang Not much else to say there. Down in the southern hemisphere, don't forget the uh, season in the southwest Indian Ocean will roll over to a new naming list on July 1st. Next name there is Let Lama. In the Australian region, it's Darien. In the South Pacific, it's Harley. That's all for now. We'll have another tropical weather bulletin tomorrow night.